When is the last chance to reunion show? Oh, when is it? Yeah, when's a reunion show? I don't show? know. I ain't see. I ain't seen Miss Wagner in a while. But I thought she's about, in state. Yeah, I know. She's supposed to be to make her way down here, but she had to be. I've been mad at her. She know that. <laughs> How's it feel to be a graduate, man? Oh, uh, it's been good, man. Um, that's one thing nobody can ever take away from me. You know, mm -hmm. been going to school like, all my life, literally. So it's it's good to like see that pay off. And uh, yeah, I'm happy about it. Coach said he called you up after practice. Did you know that was coming? And what was that like for him to kind of? Oh, uh, it was good because you know, um, you know, we go through so much, and for him just to take that time out, separate you know football from what we really came in for is to get a degree. That was kind of special, and you, you could tell it mean a lot to him for us to graduate um, during the team meeting. He before he even started anything, he had the whole team congratulate me and Jason. And, um, you know, that's just that's big from a head coach. We're about to go out to practice, and he want to congratulate the guys for graduating first. So, for me, that's um, you know, that's a big thing, you know, because he, uh, he really cares about us off the field as much as he does on the field. I saw your, your, your picture with your cap and gown. Yeah. Did you, like, go through a commencement deal, or did you just take a, a – what was, what was the – actual commencement like or degree like? Oh, um, that was before we actually walked across. But um, the graduation went until like an hour and a half. It wasn't that long, surprisingly. But uh, yeah, we walked across the stage after that. But that, I took that picture before. Mm -hmm. I just posted it after. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> they had like a little <laughs> backdrop, so I took advantage of it. Yeah. Uh, tell us about wide receiver, man, how you're coming along at the position. Uh, it's been good. Um, I feel like, you know, I've been working on little things that make me better each and every day. Coach Burns has been helping me a lot. Coach Miles on been helping me a lot. Um, I feel like I advanced a lot from the spring, and uh, you know there's always room for improvement, and that's what I'm looking forward to doing this camp, and then you know going into the season. We didn't get to talk to you in spring, John. Like, just what was that initial conversation like? Because I mean, we left the Sugar Bowl, and it was all right. Yeah, you had a cramp issue, but you kind of expected you to say a quarterback. So just what was the conversations about making that change? Um, you know, I just like as always, you know, whatever was best for the team. That's what I was down for. I mean, Coach Miles on, Coach Lindsey all sat down. He was like. We want to find a way to get you the ball like, in multiple ways. And, you know, there's one quarterback on the field, but you got more receivers. And, you know, my whole thing is just, like, as long as I'm getting the ball, that's all that matters because, I mean, I think I've proven that when I have it, good things going to turn and come up from it. This is a shift in perception and, and you know, philosophy for you, though, because it wasn't that long ago where you were very intent on playing the quarterback position. Yeah. I mean, things happen. I mean, Luckily for me, God bless me with the ability to do multiple things, and I think that's going to work out in my favor here and at the next level. Which position, receiver position, are you working at most? Uh, I'm working at the two most, but Coach Lindsey said he wanted to make me um, play all four throughout the season. So, I mean, knowing, knowing the offense as a quarterback, that's going to help me because I know what everybody's doing already. So, um, just getting the details and the technique things about it, that's what I'm really focusing on now. Who rotates with you at the two? Uh, me, Eli, and Noah. All right. The, uh, the TV show has given you a lot of visibility and a big following. How cognizant, how aware are you of that, and, and what do you try to do with it? Uh, I mean, every day, like, my, my Instagram DMs stay on, like, 99 plus. <laughs> and, like, I mean, at first, like, honestly, at first it was like, man, it's cool to be on Netflix, but, like, I think uh, going on a mission trip and, you know, going discovering some things by myself, I'm actually happy that I'm on it because, uh, you know, I get so much feedback from people from Germany, Greece, all over the country, all over the world. And, like, I mean, you're a true inspiration. You're the reason I keep going. And for me, like, that's the biggest thing is helping somebody else out through my story. If my story can do that, then I feel, like, real good about it. One thing I would, if I were in your shoes, it would sting me a little bit. They talk about scuba is not a good school. And some of the, some of your teammates there weren't paying that much attention to their academics. You would agree with that. I'm oh, sure. yeah. I mean, but you weren't one of those people. I mean, you did well in school. Yeah, I mean, school has always been, like, easy for me. Not to, I mean, you just got to know how to do school. Really. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> we're, we're familiar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, oh, uh, you know, my mom's been, uh, ever since I was started elementary school, she worked at my elementary school. And, you know, shit, like, the thing that made me do good in school, I couldn't play sports so I didn't do good in school. So, of course, I was, I wasn't, that wasn't going to happen for me. So, like, I just took it upon myself, like, just do good in school. You won't even have to worry about not playing whatever sport you want to play. Yeah. You trying to get through to some of your teammates that maybe didn't have that attitude? Oh, yeah. I mean, but, you know, you can't. You can lead yeah. a horse to water, but you can't make them That's drink. Right. So. That's right. That's <laughs> right. It is what it is. They're a man for themselves at that point. Yeah. <laughs> what is your degree in and what do you want to do when you're done playing football? Uh, my degree is in public administration. Uh. I didn't necessarily want to do that, to be honest, but um, I got kind of forced because of transfer credits and a whole bunch of other stuff. But what I want to do when I'm done playing is I want to go back home and open up a training facility and uh, train, you know, from four years old to like really high school and like have people that I've met throughout my career run each sport because I want to open up to all sports. And I want to do it back home because I feel like that's where a lot of the best athletes are back home in South Florida. 
What have you talked to about this position change and just what you're looking to work on between the summer and now in camp? Just anybody you talked to in particular? I mean, uh, well, I've worked out with Sam and Coach a couple of times. Uh, I've I got a couple of information, a lot of information from different places and next level here and there. But ultimately, it was like the more you can do, the better. So, like me and my skill set, like why why limit myself? You know, if I if I can do what a lot of people can't do, then why hold myself back for a chance to? You know, sell myself more, and um, that's really the plan for me: is to do everything and put it out there, and then let the next level make the decision. Do you have set personal goals or I mean, certain statistical goals or things for the season? Uh, yeah, but right now, I mean, I, I got all that stuff ahead of me. But right now, I'm really just focusing on learning how to play receiver. That's my biggest focus, like the ins and outs of the position, because I haven't played it since little league, honestly. Mm -hmm. So just going back and learning how to be a receiver. That's my main focus and my main goal right now. What's the most, what's been the most challenging aspect so far? Um, I mean, going against high defense is a lot of press. And uh, I mean, our defense is one of the best defenses in the conference, if not the best defense in the conference. And just going against guys like Jimmy Dean, like Jamel Dean and CD and like Jared DeForest Davis, Jeremiah Denson, you got a whole lot of talent right there. Just learning how to get off press, certain things getting in out of routes, I feel better on now, but just, Learning like the, the the fine details and position where it can make you real open or it can make you you know open but it's still covered so stuff like that. Jim Dean jam. like the sausage. Oh yeah, so we call him Jimmy Dean. <laughs> Getting off jams is tough business, man. Particularly uh, against guy Carlton. Yeah, um, that, Dean Dean and Carlson are yeah, some Dean strong too. dudes. Like it's hard, but that's the things I'm working on now. How to you know if I can do it against them, then I'll be able to yeah. do it against anybody else in my mind. That's how we feel as receivers. Like we got the best DBs in the country in our mind, so if we can get off them. And we should be able to get off anybody else. And that's the mindset we have and the approach that we have every day. You feel like you got a shot at return? Uh, yeah, I've been working that. Uh, I, I, don't, I told Coach I ain't really feel comfortable doing pop return, but kick return, I think I definitely have a shot. What, back there. Yeah, explain maybe the differences you know, to us and for you. Uh, for me, I feel like pop return, you got to be kind of crazy to be out there by yourself, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I just don't lie. I'm straight. <laughs> I just want to hit you it. You don't want to get hit in yeah, the, yeah, I'm the not, head? I mean, not even. It's just... <laughs> I don't know. I haven't done. I'm not comfortable with it back there. Being back there in the room, so yeah, I would feel much comfortable on kick return that deal for return. How's the uh, the arm been since the Sugar Bowl? I mean, you said that that was an issue that had come up for you in the past. Oh yeah, it's fine. After the game, we did like a whole bunch of tests, and uh, I mean, it was just it, was, it happened to me like probably last time that happened to me was probably like my last, like senior year in high school. So it was like weird how it happened, but um, we ran a whole bunch of tests, ultrasounds, all that stuff, and it came back came back fine. So no, like, pinched nerves? Or nah, well, nerves that's, what doc, thought, that's what I thought it was at first, but by the time I got it, it was already resolved, so. When you look, look back, you know, from the time they were filming Last Chance You and people had, you know, one or two ways of thinking of what type of guy you are and now, you know, sitting here saying that you're a graduate, mm -hmm. how far have you come and how, far, how much have things changed since that experience? I mean, honestly, like, People are like, I, I, kind of funny because everybody think they know who I am when they really don't. Like, you can't tell who I am off of six hours of a show when they filmed us for six months, but you don't see none of that. And it's a TV show. You're not going to watch something that's boring. Nobody going to watch nothing that's boring. So, like, how can you judge me off of six hours? That was the thing I bothered the most. But, like, at the end of the day, I really don't care. I've never been one to care what people thought about me because <laughs> I don't have to answer to nobody. That's how I feel. Like, if it ain't God, then people's opinions don't matter about me. But um, I mean, that was a rough point in my life, and that's real. That's real life. What you see is real life. Nothing scripted. And I mean, I'm not the only one. I just got put on TV for it, so I don't feel ashamed about how I act. I don't. I don't really care because at the end of the day, that was my life, and that's what I was struggling with. And I feel good from where I started to where I'm at now. They showed you a lot in Miss Wagner's office, just sitting there. Think people be talking, you just be sitting there or whatever. What, what were you? Like, I'm curious, what were you doing in there all the time? I mean, just... we had free time. That was the hangout spot. Yeah. Just go mess with Miss Wagner and just. I mean, it's really boring in school. Like people don't understand. Like the show don't does, doesn't do it justice. It's boring. So we just always found ways to entertain ourselves. And her office is one of the ways. How did you handle some of that, Chris? I know you spoke a little bit of it, John. But I mean, more than just from you know opinionists or whatever. But I mean, when Kirk Herbstreit, who's kind of a neutral guy, yeah. was on national television and says, "Have you seen the show? I don't want him being my quarterback." Yeah. And, I mean, I heard what he said. I don't really care what he said either. But uh, that's what I'm saying. Like. Anybody that knows me would know that that's not like, I mean, so what, everybody has their time, you know what I'm saying? But 
for somebody like to judge me off of a show where you don't even met me a day in your life, like who are you to say that? You know what I'm saying? Like, but I mean, that was before. I don't really care about it now. It is what it is. People gonna say, like you could be a perfectly you could be an angel. Somebody's still gonna say something bad about you. So why should I care about what anybody says about me? You could be doing the right thing all the time. Somebody's still gonna find a way. You know. So that's how I feel about the whole situation. You knew you're gonna you knew you're gonna graduate in the summer. Was there ever thought at some point in the summer maybe I'll go transfer again after nah, I graduate? Nah, I mean transferring is a little a tough process and to be bouncing around from school to school like that's that's the last thing I wanted to do to be honest. Even to stay at the position. I mean, no, nah, that transferring was the last option for me because it it takes a lot out of you and. Uh, as my third, it's my third school. I was trying to make it a fourth. Like four schools in five years don't look good for nobody. So nah, transfer wasn't really an option. I just had to get figure out what I was gonna do for this last year. And me, Coach Mazon, and Coach Lindsay sat down and we came up with a plan, and it's working out for the best right now. Can you talk about the deep ball this year for you guys in the offense? So Darius said he thought you guys would be better. What do you think? At the deep ball? Yeah. Oh yeah, Coach Lindsay. Um, he aggressive now. Uh, he really. Looking to throw the ball um, because you know we got Petway and KJ. People gonna expect to run, but what you what you gonna do when people load the box? You gotta throw it. And um, they're trying to get us now to realize that we're gonna throw the ball a lot, and that's a chance for us receivers to make 50-50 plays. And you know we gotta be open and stuff like that. So we feel real confident about it, and it's exciting as a receiver to know that you, they're going to throw the ball like no matter what, they're going to throw the ball way more than we have in the past, and it just makes you work that that extra, that, extra, that harder. One more. Have you lobbied for test for some wildcat plays? Uh, no, nah, Coach Lindsey told me he, um, you know, he like a lot of trick plays. He said that's gonna be like one of my roles too. So, I said, hey, bring it on. I mean, I'm all for it. <laughs> all right, that's it. Thanks. Thanks.